Hello friends, my name is Vikas. So friends, in this video, we will be discussing some of the important books and authors of February month. The session will be highly important, so do pay attention. So friends, let's start with our video. But before that, we have something important to tell you about. So friends, we have an app by the name Carious Cloud, which you can go and download through the Play Store in your Android phones. This app will help you in boosting your preparation. Once you have downloaded this app, you can go and log in with your Gmail or Google ID in this application. And once you have logged in, then you will be transferred to this page here. On this page, you will be able to see home, all courses, my courses and doubt sessions also. So in the courses, if we talk to you in the courses, in our if you purchase course from us, we will be providing you with multiple material for your preparation material such as your daily current affairs, your weekly current affairs, your monthly current affairs. In daily, we will be providing you with 20 questions quiz an ebook that is in your pdf formats of the questions of that particular day then we'll be providing you in weekly with the same 50 question quiz that will be a compiled and important 50 questions and also we'll be providing you a compiled pdf of the weekly current affairs then in the question answer format also it will be a very helpful pdf and similarly for monthly also we'll be providing you important monthly current affairs on a monthly basis so the same content you will be revising maximum number of times and it will help you in your preparation we'll also provide material related to your banking and awareness also and apart from that we'll be covering all important topics such as your apps and web portal important days books and authors national affairs international affairs sports defense awards obituary important days and what not everything will be covered in this topic wise by me only so apart from that we also provide state wise current affairs that will also help you to prepare for the regional exams coming all right so friends this is the app that you should definitely go and download if you want to step up your preparation apart from that if you want to purchase any course from our application then to help you out we'll be providing an additional 10% discount if you use Vikas 10 code. I repeat, if you want to avail an extra 10% discount on all the uh, purchase you made through the application, you will be provided with 10% discount on the purchase by using this code that is your Vikas 10. So friends, let's start. This will be an important session. The first will book we'll be talking about is Prakritik Vedic Evam Jaivik Kheti. All right. First of all, you should know here this book was released by whom this book was released by the Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha. So this why we are saying Lieutenant Governor here because this Lieutenant Governor being UT that is your Union Territory. Jammu and Kashmir is your Union Territory. That is the reason we are saying Lieutenant Governor. Otherwise, if it would been we been a state, then we would have state just generally it is a governor. Otherwise, if Union Territory, it will be known as Lieutenant Governor. So Jammu and Kashmir's Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha released the book Prakritik Vedic Evam Jaivik Kheti. This new book title Prakritik Vedic Evam Jaivik Kheti. Grameen Udyamita Ka Naya Sorup. This book was released by the Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir, that is Manoj Sinha. Alright, and this book, where was this released? This was released at Raj Bhavan. Where is this Raj Bhavan? This is located in Jammu. Alright, this book was published by Chudamani Sanskrit Sansthan Basoli, that is in Kathua, and it was released as a souvenir. The research-oriented souvenir is a significant contribution to the advancement of Sanskrit in Jammu and Kashmir. This comprises of research papers of scholars of Sanskrit and agriculture science from across India and will increase awareness among people about Vedic farming. Coming back, the important thing you need to remember, this book, Prakritik Vedic Evam Jaivik Kheti, this book was released by whom? By Lieutenant Governor of Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. And who is he? His name is... Manoj Sinha. All right. And where was this release? This book was released at Raj Bhavan that is located in Jammu. Next, Kiran Bedi's new book will be talking about that is Fearless Government. I repeat, Fearless Governance is the name of the new book that was released by Kiran Bedi. As you can see here, this is the outlook of the Fearless Governance book. Kiran Bedi. The former Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry, retired IPS officer, has authored a new book titled Fearless Government. 
fearless governance this book is the name of the book and who is the author of this book author will be kiran bedi all right this book features her memories and ground realities as the lieutenant governor of puducherry from 2016 to 2021 so this book contains the memories of kiran bedi's role as a lieutenant governor of puducherry from the year 2016 to 2021 and her experience of 40 years this book will be published by diamond books mark this important who will be publishing this diamond uh, this book fearless governance this book will be published by which publishing house diamond books then if we talk about kiran bedi she was the first woman to join the officer rank of the indian police service that you can say she was the first woman to be appointed as ips who was she she is your kiran bedi she has served as the 24th lieutenant governor of puducherry from the year 2016 to 2021 She is the founder of two foundations that is Navjyoti and India Vision Foundation. Yes, Madam Sir, directed by Megan Donman is the biopic of Kiran Bedi. She was honored with Raman Magsaysay Award and the Nehru Fellowship in the year 1994. Apart from this there are some other books of Kiran Bedi. Himmat hai galti kiski bhag 2. I dare Kiran Bedi that is the Marathi edition. creating leadership and mudde aur darshti kone these are the books of kiran bedi all right and recent book the current updated book is fearless government that was recently released by kiran bedi and this book is about the memories and about the ground realities of the lieutenant governor post of puducherry that she served from 2016 to 2021 next next we'll be talking about the book that is last among equals i repeat last among equals power caste and politics in bihar's village this book was authored by mr sharan i repeat the name of the book will be last among equals power caste politics in bihar's village and this book has been authored by mr sharan all right here you can see the front page of the book last among equals and the author is mr sharan mr sharan who is an assistant professor at the university of maryland has authored a new book titled last among equals power caste and politics in bihar's village the book is an account of the field study by mr sharan in a group of villages in bihar that he undertook as a part of its phd program this book will be published by context so who will be the publishing house here it will be context all right who is the author we are talking about author is mr sharan and what is the name of the book book's name is last among equals all right this is the name of the book highly important so pay attention okay apart from this if i ask you tell me that in which state of india did we saw the indian global forum or india global forum in which state did we observe this i g f we observed this in bengaluru all right india global forum we observed this in bengaluru apart from this if i ask you which is the first first airline first airline to use solar aviation fuel solar aviation fuel first airline to use the solar aviation fuel it will be your swiss airline mark this swiss airline became the first airline to use the solar aviation fuel moving on india's first ever season style book titled the class of 2006 that was authored by akash kansal i repeat what is the name of the book the class of 20 or 2006 and it was authored by who is the author akash kansal india's first ever season style book titled the class of 2006 sneak peek into the misadventures of the great indian engineering life that was authored by akash kansal a management professional the book was virtually launched at one of the biggest book launch ceremonies at iit kanpur and delhi technological university 
द क्लास ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सिक्स इज अ स्नीक पिक इन टू द मिस एडवेंचर्स ऑफ द ग्रेट इंडियन इंजीनियरिंग लाइफ दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ एटीन डिफरेंट एपिसोड दैट रिकॉल द टाइम स्पेंट इन कॉलेज दिस बुक विल बी रिलीज ऑन एमेजॉन किंडल बाय आर माधवन एंड इंडियन फिल्म एक्टर राइटर डायरेक्टर एंड प्रोड्यूसर ऑल राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इफ आई आस्क यू दैट टेल मी दैट विच बैंक हैज लॉन्च द प्रोजेक्ट बंसकी प्रोजेक्ट बैंक सखी टेल मी बैंक सखी दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट वी वॉज लॉन्च बाय विच बैंक एंड इन विच स्टेट सो रिमेंबर बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र लॉन्च दिस बैंक सखी प्रोजेक्ट एंड इट वॉज लॉन्च इन ओडिशा स्टेट ऑल राइट बैंक सखी प्रोजेक्ट वॉज लॉन्च बाय बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड इट वॉज लॉन्च इन विच स्टेट इट वॉज लॉन्च इन द स्टेट ऑफ ओडिशा All right apart from this if i ask you in the sustainable development report of 2021 sustainable development report of 2021 who topped this and what was the rank of india the rank of india was 120th and the country that topped in this was finland all right so sustainable development report india's rank was 120th and the country that topped was finland and if we are talking about project bank sakhi bank of maharashtra launched it and it was launched in odisha state next jsi deep book title india that is bharat i repeat what is the name of the book name is india that is bharat coloniality civilization constitution and who authored this book jsi deepak has authored this book so who is the author jsi deepak and what is the name of the book india that is bharat a trilogy book series titled india that is bharat coloniality civilization constitution that has been authored by j sai deepak and published by bloomsbury india whose first part was released on 15th of august 2021 is set to launch the second part of in june 2022 all right and the third part of it will be released in the year 2023 highly important mark this it highlights how colonial changes the socio religious culture history education language and racial patterns in india all right so highly important mark this india that is bharat this book is a released by whom j sai deepak all right apart from this if i ask you which country will host the g7 agriculture ministers meeting g7 agriculture ministers meeting will be hosted by which country it will be hosted by germany very good g7 agriculture ministers meeting will be hosted by whom it will be hosted by germany highly important question all right apart from this if i ask you amma yojana amma yojana amma yojana amma yojana was launched by which government it was launched by or it was launched by which state it was launched by sikkim highly important all right then if i ask you greenfield airport greenfield airport will be recently built into which state it will be built in arunachal pradesh greenfield all right then if i ask you where will be the first iit that will be built outside india in which country it will be built outside india it will be built in uae and uae is the only country that has been put into the grey list of fatf what is fatf financial action task force list all right and pakistan is now back on the gray list that is a recent news that you should know moving on next we'll be talking about golden boy neeraj chopra all right navdeep singh gill has authored a book golden boy neeraj chopra that is the biography of neeraj chopra if we talk about neeraj chopra he won gold medal in tokyo olympic games of 2022 his event was javelin throw and if not javelin throw it would be athletics all right the biography of tokyo olympics gold medalist neeraj chopra titled golden boy neeraj chopra authored by navdeep singh gill released at punjabi bhavan in ludhiana punjab it was published by lokgeet prakashan and is the from the genre of children literature all right it is a children literature golden boy neeraj chopra authored by navdeep singh gill you need to know this only this is the highlight of the particular question all right then apart from this if i ask you international monsoons project office international monsoon project office where this is launched it is launched in iitm pune all right then 
हैरात फेस्टिवल आई रिपीट वेर इज दिस हैरात फेस्टिवल ऑब्जर्व दिस हैरात फेस्टिवल इज ऑब्जर्व इन द यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट हैरात फेस्टिवल ऑल राइट देन इंडियाज फर्स्ट एम्बुलेंस फॉर स्ट्रीट एनिमल्स इंडियाज फर्स्ट एम्बुलेंस फॉर स्ट्रीट एनिमल्स वॉज लॉन्च वेयर इट वॉज लॉन्च इन चेन्नई इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन देन फेमस बुक्स सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट बुक्स दैट यू शुड नो ऑन एथलीट्स आर एस अगेंस्ट ऑर्ड्स सानिया मिर्जा फास्टर देन लाइटनिंग उसेन बोल्ट बिनीथ द सरफेस माई स्टोरी ऑफ माइकल फिल्प्स इज अ स्विमर वेरी फेमस स्विमर देन अ शॉर्ट एट हिस्ट्री अभिनफ बिंद्रा ही इज रिलेटेड टू शूटिंग सानिया मिर्जा उसेन बोल्ट इज अ स्प्रिंटर और यू कैन से एथलीट ओनली इज अ स्प्रिंटर एंड सानिया मिर्जा सानिया मिर्जा यूज टू प्ले टेनिस ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन दैन ह्यूमेन हाउ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स अबेंडेड पीस एंड री इन्वेंटेड वॉर दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द बुक दैट इज ह्यूमेन हाउ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स अबेंडेड पीस एंड री इन्वेंटेड वॉर दिस बुक हैज बिन ऑथर बाय सैम्यूल मॉइन आई रिपीट दिस बुक हैज बिन ऑथर बाय हु इज द ऑथर सैम्यूल मॉइन ऑल राइट then if we talk about this book that is humane how the us abandoned peace and reinvented war authored by samuel mon this book is published by farrar strauss and girox of new york united states of america this book highlights the united states of america's strategy on fighting wars and how armed combat was transferred from an imperfect tool for resolving disputes into an integral component of the modern condition the main cause of the end of vietnam war was of the 1972 photograph called the terror of war known as the napalm girl taken by the photojournalist nick ut which was also awarded with the pulitzer prize i repeat all right we are talking about the book that is humane how the us abandoned peace and reinvented war this book is been authored by who is the author samuel moyn all right and apart from this if i ask you okay tell me i will ask you a book only tell me the name of the book that is millennial yogi millennial yogi this book has been authored by whom deepam chatterjee millennial millennial yogi is the name of the book authored by deepam chatterjee all right the blue book a writers journal tell me uh, tell me the name of the book that is the blue book a writers journal who authored this book who is the author of this the blue book a writers journal so who will be the author tell me very good those who are paying attention and watching our videos regularly na he or she will be able to answer it correctly amitav kumar is the author of the book the blue book a writers journal all right then if i ask you the queen of indian pop it is an authorized biography i repeat the name of the book is queen of indian pop who is the author of this book and let me tell you this is an authorized biography who is the author of this book she is usha uthup Usha Uthup is the author of the biography Queen of Indian Pop highly important all right then moving on next book is your the dignity in a digital age making tech work for all of us this book has been authored by Aro Khanna i repeat Aro Khanna is author of the book dignity in a digital age the new book title dignity in a digital age making tech work for all of us authored by aro khanna this book highlights the effects of changing lifestyles patterns of americans due to technological progress it also mentioned about the digital divide that is unequal access to technology and the revenue as it is one of the most pressing issues faced by the united states the book helps in tackling these challenges head on and imagine 
how the digital economy can create opportunities for the people all across the country without uprooting them some of the famous book that are based on technology that you should definitely read is about elon musk tesla spacex and the quest for a fantastic future that has been authored by ashley wens next is life 3.0 that has been authored by max tegma then vikram sarabhai a life that has been authored by amrita shah so these are some of the books that are important next is okay tell me if i ask you when do we observe world civil defense day world civil defense day is observed when it is observed on 1st of march world civil defense day all right next 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 we'll be talking about a biography of atal bihari vajpayee who are a, who was our former prime minister all right as you can see him on the picture also here on the face of the book atal bihari vajpayee's biography was recently authored by sagarika ghosh highly important all right sagarika ghosh who is a very famous journalist and a columnist authored or launched the book that is based on the biography of atal bihari vajpayee who was the former prime minister of india and the name of the book was titled as atal bihari vajpayee itself the launch event of the book was organized by the duchess club in chennai tamil nadu mukund padmamban the former editor of hindu the guest of honor of the event received the first copy of this book and the book was commissioned and published by jagannath books mark this also all right then if i ask you tell me project arohan was recently of which state government and it project let me write it first project arohan this project arohan was of which state government and it is basically to what see this is related to students skills all right project arohan and this project arohan was of which state it was launched by the assam government all right next okay tell me one more thing india's first e waste eco park india's first e waste eco park where is being this built or which state has approved the building of this india's first e waste eco park it is by delhi all right next next is uh, regarding this only will be discussing prime ministers of india trilogy this is the second book of the trilogy of prime ministers of india by sagarika ghosh the first book of the trilogy was on indira gandhi that was titled indira indira's most powerful prime minister that is was published in the year 2018 then if we talk about the book this book has been prepared by referring to the parliament speeches from the 1950s to 1990s these speeches and written works of vajpayee and the number of bills he moved in the parliament the book is based on around 50 interviews with the members of rashtriya swayamsevak sangh that is of rss and the bhartiya janata party and vajpayee's close aides so coming back what is the name of the book name of the book will be atar bihari vajpayee and this book has been authored or you can say this is the biography of atal bihari vajpayee only that was authored by sagarika ghosh next next will be talking about Uma Das Gupta has recently authored a book that is a history of Sri Niketan Rabindranath Tagore's pioneering work in the rural reconstruction of Sri Niketan I repeat the history of Sri Niketan this is the name of the book who is the author of the book Uma Das Gupta is the author of the book book is a history of Sri Niketan Rabindranath Tagore's pioneering work in the rural construction This book has been authored by whom? Who is the author? Uma Das Gupta. And this book is published under the Niyogi Books Paper Missile. All right. The book contains Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore's work in the village reconstruction by setting up Sri Niketan, a wing of his Vishwa Bharati International University at Shanti Niketan in 1922, which is popularly known as the University Town. So where is this situated Sri Niketan this is situated in West Bengal location is important apart from this this is also known by what name this was used to be known as the university 
town highly important this book highlights the efforts of rabindranath tagore in improving the conditions of the peasantry by using scientific methods of cultivation through laboratory experiments where the experts and peasants collectively participated all right this was regarding rabindranath tagore shanti niketan that was used to be known as the university town and who set up this shri niketan it was set up by rabindranath tagore this was located in west bengal and who authored this book a history of shri niketan it was authored by uma das gupta apart from this there are some other books based uh, that was authored by her they are rabindranath tagore a biography the oxford india tagore selected essays on education and nationalism a difficulty a uh, difficult friendship letters of rabindranath tagore and edward thompson of 1913 to 1940 friendships of largeness and freedom andrew tagore and gandhi these are the books that were authored by uma das gupta all right now apart from this tell me which is the first state to launch night navigation mobile application first state to launch night navigation mobile application all right and this was based on which river to monitor what river it was to monitor brahmaputra river so which state launched this first night navigation mobile application it was launched by assam all right then khajuraho dance festival khajuraho dance festival this festival is observed in which state it is observed in mp that is madhya pradesh in mp's gwalior if you remember we did observe the first drone mela also then apart from this first state or the state that topped in the largest sales in of electric vehicle it was by which state up that is your uttar pradesh then which state will be building the largest electric vehicle charging station it will be built in gurugram haryana all right next next we'll be talking about bill gates new book that is how to prevent the next pandemic i repeat the book is how to prevent the next pandemic and this book has been authored by bill gates bill gates is the co-founder of microsoft as you all know all right and he has uh, he along with his ex wife that is melinda gates they both have launched a ngo also that is bill and melinda gates foundation this ngo works towards eradicating polio from the nation and due to their work of eradicating polio from the world they uh, bill gates recently received an award that is hilale pakistan this is the second highest civilian award of pakistan that was given to bill gates and the name is hilale pakistan so bill gates has authored a book that is how to prevent the pandemic bill gates co-founder of microsoft corporation authored a book how to prevent the pandemic that will be published in the month of may 2022 this book is being published by knopf in us and penguin random house internationally if we talk about the book the book features the specific steps to stop future pandemics and provide better health care for everyone around the world this book outlines the lessons that can be learned from pandemic the innovations needs to save lives and he along with his ngos as well as many other companies they are working toward making the life on earth a better and more innovative life for the people all right good then tell me if i ask you kisan drone yatra all right it was recently inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi and flagged of 100 kisan drones to spray pesticides i repeat if asked this kisan drone yatra one more thing now indians cannot purchase drone from the companies outside india in order to purchase drone if you want to purchase a drone you can only purchase drones that are made in india all right you cannot buy a foreign company's drone so coming back this kisan drone yatra this kisan drone wo yatra was for what reason it was to spray pesticide on farms to spray pesticides on farms all right kisan drone yatra apart from this kerala startup mission has recently partnered with whom to foster global links if we are talking about kerala 
स्टार्टअप मिशन दे हैव पार्टनर्ड विद हूम और बाय विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू लॉन्च इट ऑन अ ग्लोबल स्केल बेसिकली और टू फोस्टर ग्लोबल लिंक्स इट वॉज लॉन्च बिटवीन गूगल ऑल राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रिमेंबर इज़राइल इज द कंट्री दैट इज वर्किंग विद इंडिया टू डेवलप हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी विलेजेस ऑफ एक्सीलेंस ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बिल गेट्स विलियम हेनरी गेट्स थ्री दैट इज नोन एज विलियम बिल गेट्स वॉज बॉर्न इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फाइव इन सियटल वॉशिंगटन इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव ही को फाउंडेड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विद पॉल एलन ऑफ न्यूयॉर्क मैक्सिको इन न्यूयॉर्क मैक्सिको ही अलॉन्ग विद इज वाइफ देन मेलिंडा फ्रेंच गेट्स एस्टेब्लिश बिल एंड मेलिंडा गेट्स फाउंडेशन दिस इज द एन जी ओ आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट विच इज वर्किंग ऑन द एराडिकेशन ऑफ पोलियो He was honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom that is the highest civilian honor of US in 2016 for philanthropic efforts and now in 2022 he has been honored with Hilale Pakistan that is the second highest honor of Pakistan Next some other books that you should know how to avoid a climate disaster the solutions we have and the breakthrough we need authored by bill gates these are the books that are authored by bill gates only the road ahead and business business at the speed of thought succeeding in digital economy Next next book is a nation to protect leading india through the covid crisis this book was authored by whom this book was authored by priyam gandhi modi i repeat priyam gandhi modi authored the book a nation to protect this tells about the story of covid 19 uh, that was or you can say it is based on all the decisions and all the implementation that was did done by prime minister narendra modi during the covid 19 times Priyam Gandhi Modi authored the book A Nation to Protect a book about the leadership of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi tackling COVID-19 crisis in India This book was launched by Union Minister Mansukh Mandavi ji in presence of health minister officials on 18th of February 2022 All right next now tell me who has been appointed as the brand ambassador of Dish TV and first of all we'll do this Rishab Pant has been appointed at the brand ambassador of dish tv then tell me who has became the first women chairperson of cb and for what years tell me the tenure also so the name of the women is madhabi puri buck is the name of the women who has been appointed as the chairperson of cb and who is the what is the time period she has been appointed for 3 years mark this also all right and who is the new indian badminton's double coach indian badminton's doubles coach tell me the name tan kim har tan kim har is the name of the new indian badminton's doubles coach all right apart from this if i ask you if we are talking about uh, women here that who was the first women chairperson madhabi puri buck tell me who won the young mathematicians for 2021 prize that is also known as ramanujan prize who won ramanujan prize that is also known as young mathematics for 2021 it was won by nina gupta very good all right you should know these current affairs if we talk about this book that is a nation to protect the book speaks about mansukh mandavi's role of fertilizers ministers during the second wave of covid-19 by ensuring proper supplies of essential medicines and remdesivir it also speaks about modi's view of india to follow atmanirbhar bharat or self reliance without depending on foreign vaccine manufacturers all right next oh uh, yeah one more important question recently if a uh, presidential colors this presidential awards uh, colors this award is presented by president first thing you should know this on the behalf of president this time it was presented by mm narwane all right mm narwane sir presented it and to how many para battalions this was presented this was presented to four para battalions all right mark this these are some of the important current affairs that you should pay attention and highly important all right apart from this if i ask you eastern bridge 
Eastern Bridge Six. This was an exercise that was conducted between whom? It was conducted between India and Oman. When was this conducted? It was conducted from twenty first to twenty fifth of February. And where was the? It was conducted. If location is asked, then you should also know it was conducted in Rajasthan. And in Rajasthan, it was conducted in Jodhpur. All right. Then recently, exercise Milan twenty twenty two began in Vishakhapatnam. who conducted this exercise we are talking about milan 2022 where did it took place vishaka patnam all right and vishak i am asking who hosted this exercise which force of india from the three india uh, navy air force and army who hosted this it was hosted by indian navy milan 2022 all right so friends that's all for the video do like the video and do comment below and tell us that what are your views on our videos if you like the video comment below because your comment matters a lot they have a very high weightage all right and if you want us to continue with this such type of session all you have to do is comment below and show your love to us also if you have any trouble regarding login or payment or any other issues then you can reach to us on our mail that is support at the rate of affairscloud.com or you can call us on the number 9677333862 and we'll resolve your issue as soon as possible also you should go and check our courses that are available at a very reasonable price and that will help you to boost your preparation